Hey, Undercree, are you sure this thing is safe? Of course it is. Well, okay. I'm going to give it a shot. Hey, wait a minute. I can't stop this thing. Ah, help me. Bye. Have a nice trip. Ah! <laughs> Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Minecraft adventure. My name is Captain Tate, and this is my good friend, the one, the only, Endercree! Hi! And today, we're going to be doing something a little bit different, right Endercree? Yep. We're going to be doing a little uh, mod showcase for the Dragon Mounts mod. Yay! We actually did this uh, a while back, and when we first uh, started... And we had some technical difficulties. Yep. Um, Endercree's mic wasn't working. Yep. And that was our first video ever. Our first video ever. Whoa, hello. Oh, and uh, without any further ado, here's uh, <laughs> our good friend Dougal, uh, the dragon farmer. He's also new, and uh, he's here to help us with our dragon farming. Right, Dougal? Yep. And uh, so why don't we go ahead over here. And check out our dragon farm. Mm hmm. Old times days. <laughs> For old times' sake, right? Yep. So we got dragon farm. Enter at your own risk. Mm hmm. Okay, so today we're going to show you how to uh, hatch baby dragons. Mm hmm. Uh, we're going to show you how to uh, train your dragon. And uh, then we're going to show you how to fly your dragon or how to mount your dragon and fly on your dragon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And even name them. Yep. Right? So, uh,. Okay, so why don't we start by uh, showing people how to get the dragon egg, mm -hmm. right? Um, there's several several different ways of getting the egg. Uh, I guess, like, you can go to the end, right, and fight the ender dragon. Yeah. And then you can get the, the dragon egg that way. That's kind of like the hard way, right? Yep, that's the hard way. That's the hard way. Yep. Or we could, uh, you can sometimes find them in chests, you know, like in random places. Like or, the medium way? Yeah, I guess that would be called the medium way, right? And the easy way. Well, the easy way, yes. So this is the easy way. Now, what you do is you uh, open up the little uh, command prompt, right? You say type slash, and then give, and then use your username. You know, this is my username. And then we just do uh, 122 space 1, and that will give you a, a dragon egg. Yeah. Since I already did that before, I re already have it. So, um... What I did was I, I did that little uh, that little trick, and I was able to get my dragon eggs. Yeah, it's kind of like a very, very, very easy way. It's a very easy way of doing it, right? Yeah. Okay, so why don't we go over to these pens in decree and show them how to uh, to hatch our, our baby dragons. Mm -hmm. It looks like we had some new dragons today. That's right. And our first pen over here, this is our fire dragon pen. And, and what we did was we put... A bunch of lava around the egg here in the center, right? Yep. And what that does is it, it makes it so it's a, it's going to be a fire dragon. Yep. And a, another way of doing it is um, you can go out to like a desert type setting out in the sand, right? Yeah. And uh, you could hatch the egg out there, and that should make that into a make it into a fire dragon. Yep. So why don't we go ahead and come over to the our next pen, right? Yep. And uh, I'm going to show you the, our ice dragon pen. Mm -hmm. It's our ice dragon pen. And what we did was we uh, we surrounded the dragon egg with a bunch of snow, right? Yeah. Or ice. And uh, so w what will happen is we'll make that, it'll, it'll actually we'll turn that dragon egg into a, an ice dragon. Yep. Or you kind of like you found like a snowy area. Like a snowy area or like on top of a mountain or something. Yeah. And then our next little pen here, we have our uh, our water dragon pen. And you can do the same. You, you can, you know, you surround the egg with water. Yeah. Right, and it turns into a water dragon. Yeah, it's kind of pretty easy. It's pretty easy. Yeah, like you found a pond or a or a swamp. A pond or a swamp. And we have some something new over here. Oh yeah, we are forest dragon pen. This is something new, right? We added this. Yeah. And what I did was I just put a bunch of leaves around. Yeah, you or just like found the forest, like it's over there. Yeah, you can go in the forest and you put your your egg out there. Yeah, like I see a forest right there at the mountains. Right over there. That should work, right? Yeah. 
right on and Dragon's Meadows. Um, and over here is the Nether Dragon. The Nether Dragon pen. Yes, yeah, another type of dragon. Yep. And what we used was Netherrack, and we surrounded our dragon egg with nether Netherrack, mm -hmm. and that should turn it into another dragon, which is really cool. Or you want to do like the hard way, like go to the Nether. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, you can do it that way. And here's our Ender Dragon pen. Actually, the Ender Dragon, uh, you can basically just put it almost anywhere. But you know, we we use Obsidian, and we surround it uh, our egg with that. Mm -hmm. And it looks something a little different on this one. Right, and we have a, a little ghost dragon uh, pen. We, we actually will show you that later as a surprise. That's kind of yeah. cool. Yeah, but how about the air dragon? Oh, and the air dragon, yes. We're going to show them that too as a surprise as well. Yeah. Because those are really cool dragons too. Yeah, they're so cool looking. So why don't we go ahead, Endocree, and start by showing them how to actually hatch these dragons. Mm -hmm. Why don't you go into the pen. Right here. So what you do is you go into, you go up to your egg and you just right click on your egg. Okay. So go ahead and right click that. See? And as, as you can see, it turned the egg red. Mm -hmm, that means. What does that mean? That means it's a fire dragon. It indicates it's going to be a fire dragon. Right, correct. Yep. Okay, so why don't we go over to the next pen. I'm just going to fly over here. I'm almost there. Hold on. Go to your our ice dragon pen and just do the same. You just right click on it. Bam! Look, and it turned white. Yep, right? that means it's snow. That's right. It's gonna be an ice dragon. Yep. So we're gonna go over here to our next pen. To our next pen is over here. Right. The water dragon. Okay, hold on. Let me see. Right click and wow! Look, see, it turned blue. Yeah, it almost looks like the snow, the ice dragon, a little bit. Kind of, yeah. Okay, the the next one is over here. That's right. The forest dragon. It's turned green. Yay! I could tell that's a forest dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go over to our next pen, the nether dragon. The nether dragon. Let me see. Uh oh, that guy moved a little bit. Oh, it looks different. Yeah. The um, from the fire dragon at the nether dragon is more different. That's right. The spots are not orange. <laughs> and over here. We haven't tried this one out yet, so let's see. I'm quite curious to see what this is going to look like. Oh, yep. Just stays the same. Yep, it stays the same because it's the end dragon. That should look f that should look really familiar to you since you're Ender Cree, right? Yeah. I, I feel like this is my pen. All right, so why don't we go ahead and try this cool? I'm gonna drink some night potion so you can see. Um, for this dragon, um, what we did was we made it underground. Yeah, because ghost dragons need to go underground caves, which is really dark. Yes, down to where the bedrock is. Mm -hmm. And in the dark. Yes, in the dark. We just used night vision for you could see more better. Yep, so you guys can see at home. But uh, yeah. to make it clear, it should be dark. Right? Okay, I could right click it. Yep, go ahead and right click. And. There we go. Cool, so me ghost dragon. Yeah, it looks like the ice dragon, but the ice dragon, it got light color. That's right. Let's keep on going here. Let's not make okay. this video too long. Yeah, because when we do it too long, the dragon will hatch. I'm just going to fly up. Up, up, and away, Captain Tate. To the rescue. To the rescue. We're going to go all the way up. See, for this dragon, the uh, the nether, or actually it's called the other dragon, or air dragon. I call it the air dragon. Yeah. Um, you need to be high enough, like say, like above the clouds. Yeah, I'm not using the ladders. Or on top of a mountain. A okay. mountain. Um, let me just it needs to be really high up. Okay, and I right click it. Right, so right click it. And uh, Did it maybe needs to be higher. Sorry, folks. Uh, apparently, we didn't make our pen high enough. Like mm -hmm. I said, it has to be really high up in the sky, like above the clouds, right? Yep. So why don't you go ahead and right click? Yep. And show the folks at home what color the egg turns. I hope this works. Yay! Yay! It did it! <laughs> it's very light blue. It's very light blue. So, uh, after we go through all these steps, right? Yeah. We just wait. 
Wait. And usually the wait is about, what, like two, three Minecraft days? Um, two. Like two Minecraft days? Uh, well, sometimes you just be quicker, right? Yep. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to fly back down. We're going to meet Dougal down there. He's going to help us tend to our little juvenile mm -hmm. uh, dragons, or sorry, our baby dragons. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll be right back. Yep. Right? Yep. See you later. Bye. Bye. And we're back. Mm -hmm. Check it out, Endercree. We have a little baby dragon. Yay. Isn't he cute? Yep, he's so cool. cute. Cute. Little baby air dragon. Mm -hmm. This is this is what he looked like when when the air dragon. It looks so cool. Looks so cool. Like he he's in the uh, hatchling stage. Like in heaven, I think. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're gonna go down and check out the other guys. Okay. Here we go. We yeah. So after uh, they hatch, um, they're in the hatchling stage, mm -hmm. and that's and our I first stage. I see the dragons. Yep, and I see the rest of the guys here. Mm -hmm. They're so cool looking. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's the fire dragon. Alright, let's check out the fire dragon. Let me get a good view of him. The fire dragon uh. looks so cool looking. He's so cool looking, right? Yeah. So here's our fire dragon. He's here's just chilling out in his pen. Yeah, he's our snow dragon. Or our, our yep, our little uh, ice dragon. Mm -hmm. And uh, I can say he's chilling out in his pen too. Yeah, I don't know... I think water dragons <laughs> and fire dragons don't make each other <laughs> that well. Uh, and also, here's a water dragon. Mm -hmm. He's blue. Mm. Check out his tail. So cool. Yeah. Look at the ice dragon. Look how cool his eyes look. Yeah, like, so green. I love that. Yeah. His, yeah. They're actually all green eyes. Well, how they glow. It looks so cool. And the blue dragon. Oh, wow. Check out. This is, a fir this is my first time ever hatching the forest dragon. The force dragon looks cool looking. He's so green. Wow. Wait, wait, I see something on his little body. I can see like a little, like a little vine, like a little tag vine on his, on his, on his body, like a little tattoo. Oh, okay. That looks cool. And uh, which one is this one? The nether dragon. The nether dragon. Check him out. Mm -hmm. He is camouflaged almost. Almost With that ne nether rack around him, huh? Yeah. And over here, of course. Your favorite. It, what, which one is this one? Ender Dragon. The Ender Dragon. Yep. Okay, why don't it, we... Huh, sorry? His eyes look different from the others because it's purple. That's right. We know you. We, we all know how much you like the, the Ender Dragon. Yeah. So why don't we go ahead and go downstairs and check out our Ghost Dragon. Yeah. Follow me. We had to be dark because you know what happens when ghost dragons be in dark. Wow, check him out, Endercree. Yep, he glows in he the dark. He glows in the dark. Hello, little baby dragon. How are you today? Up. Oh, he doesn't follow my commands yet. Rawr. Right, because we can't, actually, we can't train them until they grow up to, to the, you know, when they get to the, to the adult stage. Yeah, and right? then feed them with fish. Okay, so why don't we... Go ahead and, and fast forward and um, go t to the juvenile stage. The juvenile stage? Why? Because that's what we're, we're going to do. So we'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. This is a disaster. As you can see, the dragons have grown up into the juvenile stage. And they're uh, escaping. And they're escaping. They're going into... Uh, except for this guy. He's being good. He's the ice dragon staying in his pen. Yeah, but the but rest of the guys are all over the place, sir. See, Dougal? Dougal, help us out. Do your job, buddy. The dragon is inside his house. Oh, no. They're escaping. I, so, <laughs> I saw the ender dragon went through that, that the ghost dragon wall. See, actually, now I think they will actually they will, they will respond to the fish, the raw fish, right? Yeah. They can start following you. Like, hey, look, I got raw, raw fish. Hey guys, check it out, raw fish. Whoa, see? Hey, over here. <laughs> I'm trying to get. Which pit? Which which dragon I do? What kind of dragon I get? I'm not sure. It's any one that you want. I want the forest dragon. The forest dragon. Oh, it doesn't follow my command. Not yet. So this is actually the um juvenile stage. And that means there's teenagers. They're like teenagers. So what we're going to do is we're going to come back again 
and we're going to show them in their yeah. adult stage. And this is the big, huge disaster. Here. This is a huge disaster because the yeah. pens were only designed to hold them as little babies. Yeah. Right? Uh, so they hatch now, and they're at the stage where they want to wander around and, and spread their wings and fly around and, and have some fun, right? Yeah, like the Ender Dragon, like went through this wall right here, and he, I don't know what he's doing. He's probably playing with the ghost dragon. They're probably, like, wrestling or something, because, you know, that's what kids do. Uh, I don't see him in the pen. Well, he's probably hiding. Playing hiding-go-seek. Hide so, actually, we're going to come back again. Uh, we're going to cut tape, and we're going to show them in the adult stage. Mm -hmm. And we're actually going to train one each. I'm going to have one. Ender is going to have one. And we're going to name them. And then we're going to fly them what around. What is wrong with this dragon? He's spinning around in circles. <laughs> okay, so we'll be right back. Bye. Bye. Hello and welcome back. Welcome back. So here is a few of our dragons in the adult stage. Mm -hmm. Because the other guys have decided to wander off. And they're doing God knows what. They're probably playing and wrestling and being mm -hmm. crazy juvenile dragons. Yep, and I could see some over there, and the ice dragon, the uh, air dragon are being friends over there. They're friends, right? They're hanging out together in that pen. Mm -hmm. So, Endercree, why don't we go ahead and show the people at home how to train the dragon once they get to the adult stage? Mm -hmm. So, is what do this, we do next? Is this guy's already adult? Yeah, they're adult stage. Okay, you you want to? I want to tame the forest dragon. Okay, so you're gonna tame the forest dragon, right? Mm-hmm. Let me see. So uh, what you do is you take raw fish, right? Yeah, I got raw fish. Raw fish, and then you right-click on the dragon with the raw fish. Why don't you go ahead and do that? See that? Oh, uh, loves me. They love you. Well, he loves you, right? Yeah. And once you do that, you can get the bone, right? I got the bone and make him sit them down. You can make him sit down with the bone. See, if you right-click with the bone in your hand, mm -hmm. he will sit down. Actually, you know what? I'm going to tame the red dragon. See, now he likes me. Already. <laughs> right, and I'm gonna I'm gonna make it right click, and then boom, he sits down with the bone. It put a saddle on him. Right, and then the next step. Oh, did you do that already? What? You put the saddle, huh? Yeah, I put okay, the saddle. No one, on. Okay, so what I'll do so people at home can see. All you have to do with the saddle is you just right click with the saddle, and there we go. you go. You have him saddled up and ready to ride. Yep. But first, why don't we go ahead, Endercree, and show the people at home how to name the dragon? Mm-hmm. So. What I'll do is I'll go ahead and bring the name tag over to the anvil. Just right click on it, right? Mm -hmm. Just put it up here. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to name my dragon. What should I name him? Uh, what's you name him? I'm thinking like Fireball. Fireball, that's a cool name. Like Fireball. That's cool, so he is Fireball. What I'll do is I'll just bring the name tag over to Fireball. Mm -hmm. And then I'll just right click on him with the name tag. Now he is now Fireball. And actually, you know, when, when I right clicked on him with the saddle, right, mm -hmm. I mounted the dragon. So what I'll do is press, what was it, the R key? The R key to go up, right? Hello. And by default, it's the F key to go down. But for some reason, mine, I have a lot of mods. So mine is default to the G key. So you can actually ride the dragon by using the ah, R and the F to go up and down. I fell. And the W key to kind of just fly him around. As you can see, we're f I'm flying around with him. I, I fell from my dragon. And also, uh, if if you fall, right, yeah. your dragon will actually catch you. So if you press shift, well, actually, I'm in creative mode. But when you're in survival mode, your, your dragon will actually catch you. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. And there's a, actually a, a couple other things. They have like uh, attack maneuvers and all these other cool things you can do with them. Uh, I'm going to put that all in our description. I, I'll put a link to the, the mods page and you can find out some more information about uh, the Dragon Mounts mod. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, the, the download information and, uh, and all that kind of good stuff. I want to get an end dragon. You want to get the Ender Dragon? Yeah, it's okay to put an egg in the pen. Go ahead, go right ahead. Uh, this is what we have the farm for. Uh, Ender Cree and I like our dragons so much, we decided to make our own little uh, dragon farm. And, uh, you know, so we can use them mm -hmm. for our adventures. Yep. Right, and we have our new guy, our new friend, Dougal. Uh-huh. See what Dougal has to say. Dougal says, enjoy. Enjoy. Enjoy, enjoy. what, Dougal? Enjoy your day. 
we'll, we'll see you next time on uh and hopefully uh you guys will like our video and subscribe to our page yep right you yep. want to say goodbye to everybody at home mm-hmm. bye bye everybody hopefully you enjoyed this uh little mini mod showcase and we'll see you next time peace out peace out bye mm-hmm.